This is Duke Rustfield making another uh, low-tech video on the game mechanics of Crossout. I'm going to talk about uh, buggy parts and damage transference this time. Um, I've got a uh, grill here, um, a hazardous generator, machine gun, and a scope just for ease. Um, if you look up uh, grills it says let's damage through and unlike other parts um, it doesn't say you know uh, that it increases vehicle durability um, so these are really high power score for very low durability and very very low mass um, but it, what does the let damage pass through mean? It means that whatever kind of damage is done to this, whatever kind of damage type, whether it's guns or explosions or fire or plasma, it only takes 10% and it passes through the rest of the damage. So what does that mean, pass through? Um, it means that whenever it's first, uh, when an attack it hits it, uh, from that point it's hit, you can have five empty spaces and the another object in line with the attack and it will be hit. So the grill's only going to take 10% of the damage, which will be white damage, damage numbers. And when I aim at the generator behind it, it is yellow damage. Um, so the, the white one is the 10%, 7 is the generator. And it eventually explodes. If I shoot enough, it'll, even the 10% will take off that. It doesn't matter how many grills you have, it doesn't extend the range, it's going by the first encounter of a grill. You see now it's two because each of the, and it's rounding the numbers, each of the grills is taking about one damage and when it explodes it it's enough to take out this other grill. Um, if you put this here it doesn't matter it, it only counts by when it um, first hits so you don't you can't extend this back further um, it won't be hit uh, you can move it up, obviously. Um, this is only for um, non-explosion weapons. Explosions work differently. Um, so if I get a shotgun, which has very short range, get rid of the charge and aim for that yep so this goes th all the way through as well um, this is how grills and um, frames these things work if you shoot at an angle let's see so that nothing is behind it directly in line with the shot so the machine gun still does the same damage but I'm not going to aim at the hazardous generator there's nothing 
behind it to hit so the damage doesn't magically transfer to whatever's correct connected it's only in line with the shot um, this is powerful information to use uh, because you can protect your vehicles with this but do know that damage is going to transfer through but only in the angle of attack um, so this principle works with other types as well um, damage transfers partial damage transfers so this uh, piece has 14 durability so I'm aiming roughly at the hazardous generator behind there I shoot once that's eight damage so this piece has six left so what I believe will happen is you'll see um, a white two and to finish uh, this oh no you'll see a, a white six and um, then a yellow uh, two yeah so th the machine gun the first shot partially uh, destroyed it. The second shot not only destroyed it, but the remaining damage that this gun had passed all the way back here to the generator. Um, so grills are doing that except with every shot. Um, they only absorb 10% and the rest is passed straight through. Um, I said this doesn't work with explosions. I have another uh, video on explosions and how they're different. But this is considered an object um, when it comes to an explosion. And when it gets about here, about one and a half squares in front, it will detonate. And um, if the radius is large, you know, detonate out here and create a, a sphere explosion and blanket that damage. And that can be enough to encompass everything around it. Um, but it doesn't work the same way like uh, uh, machine guns and shotguns. Um, so doing this, you know, or even doing this, you know, protecting your generator or something uh, flimsy like this isn't really good protection. You're just shaving off 10% of the damage that's coming and you know it can be all the way back here uh, and it, it's still going to get destroyed quite quickly. Um, but uh, you can use this to uh, keep your in pieces together knowing that it's not going to you know provide armor in a sense but it will be a connection point kind of like oops like I have over here um, unless this thing takes um, about 80 damage um, you know and this gun only has 135 so this is quite durable uh, for just a little piece um, and this is much more so if I have you know this sitting up there um, this can take more damage than that um, so I'm not worried about this being destroyed because I've lost my connection, my one connection, because this thing's a lot more durable than that gun. Um, 
So, and that's not usually the case. Um, you know, even this hard module, uh, Steppenwolf, is only 94 durability, and it's 280 mass, as you can see. So that's 55 power score. This is 56 power score, but the difference is this technically has a lot more durability. Um, and it's way lighter, just tremendously lighter. Um, but this does contribute to the overall health of your vehicle. This does not whatsoever. So if you're, you know, buggy parts can be extremely helpful um, when you're using them to create connection points that you don't want to lose like when you have guns that have to be exposed and um, you want to uh, keep that connection point so what you you know otherwise you have to do something like um, this um, let's say like this um, this would take uh, you would have to lose both these pieces to lose this gun um, and they have uh, combined more health um, than this weapon but this is just a lot of weight um, a lot of power score um, and pretty bulky uh, compared to this or this so that's what these are great for is creating very durable uh, connections and mounting points. They're not very good at being used as shields. Um, this will, you know, block 10% uh, damage, but the cabin will still take 90%. Um, and, you know, you might as well just stick a, a bumper up there and it would do pretty much the same thing. Um, but costs, uh, you know, the power score difference. Um, so, you know, a, a terrible bumper is about the same, um, but this also has um, uh, melee resist 90% um, and it has ramming uh, damage when you hit someone. So, but this is functioning kind of similar in that this absorbs 86 damage um, the other one uh, can absorb um, what was it 160 so that's pretty decent amount and the cabin would end up taking 90 percent um, in this case uh, if you're getting shot with bio machine gun or something like that this absorbs a hundred percent but only takes 86 so yeah that's um, you know viable but uh, mostly they they're used for um, connection points and like I said explosions work very differently um, in that it just envelops, as soon as it gets near it envelops it and a lot of explosions uh, can take out um, even pretty powerful uh, you know this is the toughest um, which we'll call it grill or buggy heart um, but this can take 380 damage um, before it finally uh, is destroyed. So if I stick this over here, this thing's going to be just hovering. Hopefully, I don't fall over. aim a little bit out here and it doesn't tremendously matter because it's still going to be triggered um, I just don't want to destroy the vehicle Oops. Uh, 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 uh. 
so I survived an entire mammoth shot. One, one and a half, maybe, um, two. But mm, it's just got two connection points. Oops. Not even close. Um, so that's a pretty significant difference. Um, but this is; these are about the same power score as one gun mount. Um, they're just a lot, and but but this is a tremendous amount of weight. But this is also an extra 280 uh, durability to your vehicle. Um, or, yeah, and um, so anyway, that's a, that brief overview. Just frames work essentially the same way. Um, they transfer damage, how it's uh, being passed through uh, th from the direction where the attack comes from.